all over the place today. I've even got the uh, padlock in my hand still. <laughs> That's right. Have you right. started filming? Yeah. Yeah, cool. All yeah. right, so. This is gonna be a trickier one because he's uh, only got part of his body stuck in the net and the butt's wet. So, I'm gonna have to uh, pin his head so I can actually control him. Never a fan of doing this, but has to be done. Very, very pretty little snake. And then we had too many of these coals, so we ended up actually buying yeah. a set of tin snips. So. Fortunately, I'm going to put a hole in your bear cage. That's right. Fill up or something. Just one more bit and I think we're done. But you want one of the more easier. Snipping out jobs I've had today. So I'm just going to bring him out. Yep. Um, so if you can just open that door for me. And then I'll take a look over him. Ugh. Good thing these pants needed to go on the wash anyway. <laughs> oh. Alright. I think he's even actually got... Um, I can actually see his tail is a bit... Crusty, so he's got some damage on his tail. That could be from anything, really. I'll turn that off so you might be able to see better. Actually, you know what? Let's go under the, uh, under the patio. Yeah. Oh. Yes, as much light as possible. Yeah, so it looks like he's had some injuries before. You can see how it's all like crusty and almost yeah. bleeding as well. Such a pretty little snake. Alright, you can see all the indentations from the wire there. But, it doesn't look to have any open wounds, so I think you got lucky. It's even got some nice coppery colouring between his scales. Any idea what sort it is? Oh, do you got? Do you got? Yeah, hundred percent. I got you about two, two and a half, two and a half years old. Oh, cool. Just a young one, but had a rough life already, buddy. <laughs> hey. Anyway, I reckon he's actually going to be all right to release. So I'll bag him up and we'll get him out of here. Cool. Oh, yeah. No worries. Thanks, sir. Cheers. I'll stop now. Yeah. Hey guys, so I'm just about to release this little dude, or dudette, uh, caught in Bellevue, right next to Helena Valley. Um, hello buddy. So friggin' pretty. God, I just love these guys so damn much. Look at that beautiful pale head. I've actually got a couple at home that are pretty similar. Um, this nice sort of tan colour. With a pale head, some nice black spots on him. Anyway, I'm not going to muck around with him too much because he's obviously had a bit of an ordeal. Um, really struggled to find somewhere to release him because there's a lot of uh, new residential developments going up, um, taking away a lot of their bushland. So around the Bellevue area on um, Catherine Street and Clayton Street and towards Helena Valley, um, there might be a fair few of these guys being displaced. displaced sorry. 
in the next sort of six to 12 months or so, but we'll see how we go. Um, not the most ideal location, but there's a lot of thick grass. So this little dude's gonna be able to find somewhere to hide away for the night and then he'll get his bearings tomorrow. It's gonna be nice and hot, so he'll be out early and hopefully get some. Uh, look at that, how gorgeous. And um, yeah, hopefully live out a nice peaceful life because he's been in the wars already, unfortunately. Anyway, you ready to get home, buddy? Oh, I love you, you're so cute. You're so beautiful. Yes, you are. You're so beautiful. Anyway, enough of my baby talk to the snakes out of absolute door. Yeah, my buddy. Yeah, there you go. Ready? Ready? And watch him disappear. And gone. Gone. Honestly, how can you not love him? I sure as hell do. Thanks, guys.